guys, so today I'm going to try a couple of uh, new launches from uh, Lakme Naturale, Lakme 9 to 5 Naturale range. And I have uh, their aloe vera gel, their foundation, uh, gel eyeliner, and uh, setting powder. So I'm going to start uh, with the foundation. In the foundation range, they have four shades, and as always, I have picked the darkest one. This is Lakme 9 to 5 Naturale by phase foundation drop infused with aloe vera and green tree extract you are getting 18 ml here and this is the darkest shade and this is in the shade number natural almond number four i'm not sure how dark it is but i didn't have a choice like they have only four shades so i picked the darkest color so we'll prep our face first with the aloe vera gel this is lakme 9 to 5 aloe vapor gel this is 100 percent aloe vera extracts so this has 100% pure aloe vera but it doesn't, this doesn't make it like a pure aloe vera gel because it has a lot of other stuff as well in the ingredients list because the ingredients list is pretty extensive. It has uh, glycerin, castor oil, glycol, perfume, niacinamide a lot of other stuff. So this is not like a pure aloe vera gel but yes this is a gel with the uh, 100% pure aloe vera extracts. It feels nice and light. It has already absorbed into my skin. It doesn't feel sticky or anything. And it feels moisturizing. It feels nice, cooling on the skin. Now I'm going to go ahead with the foundation. And for you, for this foundation, I will try to use a brush. So because I think it's like a very runny formula. Okay, it has this opening here from where you can take out the foundation. It looks like a serum foundation, uh, Lakme's own version of serum foundation in this draw. Like this bottle, this bottle is like, this bottle is funny. So I'm going to use my Sephora foundation brush to apply and blend this foundation. As you can see, this is quite light for me. This is the darkest shade. Imagine the girls who have a darker complexion than mine, how are they going to use this foundation? Uh, I think as an, as an Indian brand, Lakme should get into darker skin tones as well. So this is number 4, this is the darkest shade and it is still so light on me. This is only one layer and uh, foundation has given me like a light coverage. And one thing I really liked about this foundation is that the moment you apply it, it instantly sets so uh, which makes it like a pretty good product for uh, summers this shade would be suitable for NC40 uh, for NC42 this looks slightly light uh, though it has blended well and it is such a sheer coverage that you cannot even tell that it's a light shade in reality it's uh, quite light uh, on camera it's looking quite light so I'm going ahead with another layer to see if it's buildable It looks like it's not layering well. I can see it moving on my face. I'm going ahead with a sponge and pressing it. So the foundation doesn't uh, layer really well. And uh, uh, now that I've applied it, I think it's kind of looks okay. So next I'm going to apply some concealer under my eyes. And for that I'm going to use this palette from Technique. And uh, this is Technique Color Fix 2 Cream Foundation Contour Palette. So this palette was sent to me by an Insta seller and uh, she sells Technique makeup and a lot of other brands. So I'm going to link her Instagram account in the description box and I'll mention the price of all the products I'm using right now in the description box along with the links. So if you want to buy anything you can go and buy. So this palette is really good because you can do your entire makeup with it. You can use uh, concealers or you can use uh, the foundation uh, you can do your foundation with this palette and then there is a darker shade here which will be really good for contouring so I'm going to use this for uh, doing my concealer and for jaw today I'm taking my beauty blender and take this and this like mix these two because uh, otherwise they will look too light and press it under my eyes the 
formula is really good it's really creamy and the concealer shade is really good really really good now i'm using the other side of the blender and pressing the product in The best part about these palettes is that you can custom your color and you can use the same palette on someone else as well because there are a lot of shades that will match that person as well. A person of darker complexion. I'm really really happy with the formula. It's creamy but it's not thick. It has blended in really really well. Now to contour I'm going to take this color. Okay, this looks good. Like after uh, contouring, my face looks so good, so so good. Next thing we have here is Lakme Naturale finished finishing powder, and uh, this definitely reminded me of the rose powder by Lakme, which was like one of the first blue powders I've ever tried. So the packaging is really pretty. The only one shade available. It comes. This packaging comes with the powder puff. I don't recommend taking the sticker all the way out uh, so because otherwise you will have too much powder all the time I'm going to take it on the lid uh, so this powder has a pearly sheen I'm not sure how good it's going to look under the eye but I'm going to use this to set the under eye area right now so I'll take my sponge and a uh, little bit of this powder and set my under eye area Okay, this looks good. See, this looks so nice. Oh my god, I'm so surprised. I was expecting it to be chalky and white, but it's not. Since it's a beige color powder, it doesn't leave a white color. But can you see the difference between the two eyes? It looks almost airbrushed. In fact, I can set my makeup feather because uh, it's not too white or too yellow. This looks really good. Best part is that it has blended into my skin. So well. Wow. I'm impressed. I'm really, really, impressed. really impressed. Now to set my contour, I have a Technique Contour Palette. I think I will use this one to warm up my face a little bit and this one on the contour because this seems like a light uh, cool tone a brown and this is like a quite warm tone brown Then you have a lot of uh, setting powders here this is a very good yellow powder if your under eyes look uh, dull this can be a really good product Taking a plain brush and just blending everything in. If you want, you can use the yellow one, the yellow powder under your eyes. Uh, let's try it. Can you see the difference between the two? This looks much brighter. Uh, I was pretty happy with the how uh, Lakme powder looked under my eyes. So. Next up, they have sent me uh, a brow kit as well, eyebrow kit. This is again from Technique Brow Taper Eyebrow Kit. Now I'm going to use the blush palette from Technique. 
is like a pink tone palette so there are a lot of shades you can use these colors to tone down your pink if you don't want your cheeks to look this pinky so i'm taking my real techniques brush and i'm taking this blush mix with this a little bit of this to curl my lashes and do my uh, mascara I'm going to go ahead with these wet and wild lipsticks I have two shades uh, one is spice with rum and other one is bare at all I'm going to mix these two uh, because spice with rum is a little bit too dark for this makeup This is like a basic smoky eyes and I'm going to jazz it up a little bit uh, with the help of this beautiful eyeshadow palette. This is After Dark Eyeshadow Palette from Bad Habit. Uh, this is a new brand. Uh, on my Instagram, I asked you people that I want to buy a new eyeshadow palette and a lot of you recommended Bad Habit eyeshadow palettes. Uh, th this brand is not available in India so these palettes can be bought via uh, Instagram accounts, Instagram sellers. And this looks like a really pretty, pretty eyeshadow palette. Taking this color first. My makeup is done and this is how it looks after about 15-20 minutes. So uh, let's quickly round up what I have used on my face and uh, how I did it. So first of all the foundation was like a little too light for me but I think after a couple of uh, minutes it has finally set but, uh, but I really would like to have one shade darker than this uh, because I cannot use it on its own without a full face of makeup otherwise it will look too light on me. So the shade natural Almond, which is number four is like a shade lighter uh, than my complexion uh, the formula again of the foundation is nice it's good for uh, the, the summer weather and uh, but it did not layer well so I'm not sure how good it's going to layer on the skin you will need a sponge but sponge will so soak up the product since it's very runny and very liquidy the packaging is not obviously uh, convenient you get only 18 ml where in other foundations you get the regular size like 30 ml so that's a drawback there. So the first of all, I really like the gel. This gel is good. Uh, it made my foundation glide on really well. It was not sticky, but it was moisturizing. And the setting powder, I really like the setting powder and I can see myself using it. It has a pearly finish, but it's, it doesn't show up that pearly or uh, shiny under the eyes. Rest about my Technique palettes, I'm loving all of them. And uh, there is one more palette, this one. And uh, this has highlighters. I've not used any highlighter today. These highlighters are really shimmery. Really shimmery, so you have to uh, use a very light hand. Okay, on the skin it looks really beautiful. I thought like these are baked, so they will be really chunky. You will see me using these palettes in future as well. I'm going to uh, keep using them because I find I found them really really convenient. I will be using the gel 
eyeliner uh, in my next video because in this this time I decided to do this kind of a smoky look. I hope you guys enjoyed this makeup look and all the products and all the Instagram sellers will be mentioned in the description box. Uh, please go and check them out. Please subscribe to my channel if you are not already subscribed and I'll see you with my next video. Bye.